I'm concerned for the future of my kids, of my children. My eldest daughter has been lucky enough to get into medicine. She will do well, I know, but I'm concerned for the safety of my children, my family. This is Sayema. After being stabbed multiple times by her husband in a horrific act of family violence, she turned to South East Community Links in the multicultural suburb of Springvale in Melbourne. Originally from Afghanistan and with only basic English skills, Sayima was struggling to get her affairs in order following the attack. A complex mix of legal, financial and banking problems were making an already awful situation much worse. When I came back from the hospital, I thought my life was finished, it was over, that I had no choices left. But this community service has helped me, has assisted me with the interpreter, with my banking issues. I still have issues with the bank that the service is assisting me with. Without their help, I would not have accomplished what I have accomplished today. But changes to the telephone interpreter service that Sayima relied on are putting people like her at risk. At the end of November 2015, the federal government made drastic changes to the way they fund interpreter services. Rhonda Cumberland is the CEO of South East Community Links. Many people come here uh, really as a last resort um, for basic essential services and support. Uh, they're really people with probably nowhere else to turn. Uh, they are trying to improve their circumstances, trying to make a change, uh, but they need someone to understand them and to give them support. And they're the people that we have most concern about uh, who will need interpreters to be able to take that next step, uh, to move on from a crisis or a personal circumstance that is just simply bringing them down. They're the group that we're most concerned about. For Rhonda and her staff, the cuts to the service mean they're now using emergency relief funds to pay for interpreters. That means there's less vouchers, food parcels and financial support to help the community. There's more than 40 different languages spoken in our uh, community, in our local area, uh, and we estimate that it will cost us close to $50,000. So it's a substantial number of people who will miss out. Up until now, uh, this has been a bipartisan issue uh, where all sides of government in you know, state and federal governments have totally agreed and supported uh, the importance of interpreter services uh, to assist people. It's because you need an interpreter should not disadvantage you and you should not be punished for it. The interpreter service is not only important for me, it's important for the entire community. Australia is such a multicultural country that interpreters are very important for people to understand their rights. 